All right, so it's been 168 days since I bought these two little red tail catfish. Been taking videos every day, posting them on YouTube so you can see how fast they grow. And I actually finally got my UV bulb. <laughs> Look at this guy <laughs> coming right up to the top. He is ready for his hand feeding. Look at that. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. They're pretty frisky today. <laughs> uh, I finally got my um, my UV bulb for that filter. The, the UV bulb burned out and they sent me a free one because it was still under warranty. All right, so let's do a little hand feeding. Let's see if we'll come up to the top again. Maybe we'll come right up to the top of the surface of the water here. Maybe, maybe. All right, buddy. <laughs> yeah, took that one. You know, one of the things I noticed about these catfish, I actually came down here last night about 10 p.m. And it seemed like both of them were, I don't know, it seems like they're they're both pretty spry. <laughs> pretty spry this morning. But I came down here last night and it seemed like they were a lot more active at 10 o'clock versus right now which is like eight o'clock in the morning plus i've been feeding them a little bit less so keeping them a little bit more hungry i guess <laughs> so maybe that's why they're a little more active too i think i was feeding them a little too much they're getting a little bit bloated once they get kind of bloated they really it seems like they really slow down quite a bit all right buddy <laughs> yeah doing great these guys are both doing great. My biggest fear is that I want to squash them under the filter when I put the filter down. You have to really watch it. But sometimes I'm like lowering the filter in there and they're like right under the filter. But I don't know, this filter is pretty heavy. I think it could hurt them if they got under there and you're lowering it down in there. So I just have to figure out how to take it all apart. And I don't even know if I have the instruction manual for this filter anymore. Shouldn't be that hard to put a, a UV bulb in it. I wouldn't think. That actually came with a, a little like a silica window or like a quartz window. Not exactly sure where that goes. We'll have to tear into it and find out. All right, so I'm going to finish up with just a little bit of food. This is uh, tilapia and cod that I got from the grocery store and I'll give you some underwater video.
All right, so I figured out how to take the bulb out. Check it out. That's the UV bulb that clears up the water. Pretty wild.